So today I'm going to test using my new Inkbird controller a sous vide technique. Um, if you've heard of sous vide it's basically where you vacuum seal something, in this case ribeye steak, uh, and then you put it in a water bath and you control it at set temperature and it will cook it over whatever desired period you want. Uh, we're going to be doing a medium rare steak, 54 degrees for around 2 hours and 15 minutes. This is the first ever time I've done sous vide, um, so I was just going to tell you how I'm setting it up. So this temperature controller, you basically set the desired temperature, which is the bottom, uh, and whatever degrees you're in centigrade or Fahrenheit and um, then there's a differential that means if it gets too cold by so many degrees that you set it turns on the heating element um, you can add a cooling element which is what I'll be doing for when I do my beer so it'll either turn on a fridge or it'll turn on a heater in the fridge to keep my beer at a set fermentation temperature in there there's a probe uh, you might just be able to see it at the edge there, which is reading the temperature. I've got this set for high at the moment, and I'll flick that to low, because uh, at some point uh, this unit will work either best on high or low. Uh, I'm going to try on high for a start, just to see what happens once it hits a certain temperature, if it just literally turns off, and then if there's any residual heat heating in that, how far up uh, temperature wise does it go before it starts to drop back down. Um, got my vacuum sealer here from Lidl, 20 quid, absolute bargain and you just buy it by the roll and you cut off the length you want and then you seal it, here's one example there and then you put the uh, the meat in the bag, in this case steak with uh, seasoning and salt and pepper on the side and a bit of uh, rosemary um, and then I'll be dunking it in there, obviously you have to be mindful of the bag size. Not too sure if this stock pot is going to be big enough um, but once it's vacuum sealed that should shrink down and hopefully fit. So here it is. The two steaks have been vacuum sealed. All the air has been sucked out. I seasoned both sides with salt and pepper and then pulled a sprig of rosemary from garden, snapped it in half. There we go, both sides done. So yeah, you can't feel any any air in there at all. So it's uh, the vacuum sealer has done its job. We're at 47 degrees, target's 54, uh, it's definitely warming up, obviously, so just wait for that to hit, it's probably going to take, I don't know, maybe another 5-10 five, five, minutes, and then I'm going to leave it another 10 minutes after that just to see what happens once it gets to temperature. So just about reaching temperature, so... Let's see what happens when it gets to 54. In theory, the light on there should go off. There you go, 54 degrees. The, the cooker turned off exactly 54 degrees. So now we'll see if the temperature rises on here. And if it does, to what degree? Probably leave it like a couple of minutes or so, um, just to see what it overshoots by. Let's take a look. There you go. You can see the colours changed on there uh, from the real red, rich red colour. The steak it's gone like a darker sort of grey colour. Uh, same sort of colour you see when you leave steaks and uh, mince out. Or you know the oxidization and all that kind of stuff. Um, got some pepper sauce. 
This one we got from um, Keelan Farm Shop. You just uh, paste the top 20 seconds in the mic. You're done. Happy days. Uh, what else we got? Classic green beans. Serve it with that. And to finish, ooh, we got some wedges. So, very happy. Oh, it's 54.8 now. Uh, yeah. Um, next time I do it, I'm going to try and change it up from a high heat, and then I'll do a medium heat, and then I'll do a low heat. As you can see, up 0.8. To see what difference it overshoots by. Uh, I'm interested to see, and then I can obviously set it to the one that's most appropriate. 59 now. I'm not too worried though because the medium rare for steak is 129 degrees or 54 uh, to 57, I think, or 58, something. I can't remember what it is, but there's plenty of scope, and this is at the more rare side of the scale so we'll still be reaching a nice medium rare steak so we've got the uh, steamer ready for the green beans they take between three and five minutes the skillet is heating up to smoking hot and here we go look at that the meat is cooked uh, now they've been in probably about an hour and 45 minutes the maximum you can do for the temperature range that we've done it, anything over, anything under 130 degrees, the maximum temperature you can do, time you can do, sorry, is two and a half hours. Um, but the actual cooking time is any time over an hour. So we're doing pretty well there. Um, as you can see, it's got some nice, still red colouring. I reckon it's definitely going to be like that on the inside. Um, just going to open this bag up get rid of the um is it oh yeah rosemary uh, and then i'm going to bang it on there 15 seconds each side and i can serve straight away because it, it doesn't need to rest so we're pretty much ready and uh, pretty much ready to go um so here we go so i've just cut into the steak and this is what it looks like Juicy. But the only way I can tell if it's any good is if I try it. Let's give it a go. Wow. Beautiful. Succulent. Fam fabulous. So juicy. Mm. Well, I have to sign off because. And here you get to work. Sous vide cooking, lovely.